What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Master... Oh, God! I, I was making... I made a joke so frequently about the name of these stupid streams that I actually forgot what they are most of the time. Modern Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering Arena uh, Hearthstone stream. No idea what I'm saying right now. I'm basically drunk. What are we picking here? Are we doing a stip? What was the stip? Butt stip. Oh, no. There's a butt stip. Yes. We got to take the biggest butt. We're doing a, a Sir Mix Lot stipulation that was requested by uh, Admiral Akbar, uh, which is a uh, you got to take the biggest butt, which is I guess five four in this pack. Alan, you did not address what we do about like removal or planeswalkers that we might want to take instead, right? Like if there's a cryptic command in the pack, can we take that? I don't know. I wanted to take this mind control, but the butt stip says that we have to take ink eyes, right? Well, the mind control can steal the biggest butt, though. What about toughness? Is toughness equivalent with um, with Elspeth? Or with loyalty, rather? Like, can we say, like, if a planeswalker has an equal number of loyalty as the toughness of the creature, can we take that instead? This is going to be weird. Toughness is butts, right? All right. Well, how many butts we got in here? All the butts in here are three. We got a two, three, which puts us squarely into Sultai. How do we get lands? Alan, this is, oh my God. Oh my God. I think lands should be an exception. It's one of these two. We, do we go Sultai or do we go black, white? What does this thing get? Is this only target opponent creature? It's it's uh, deals damage to a player. It's the it's player. It's damages. Damaged. That's it. Damages. We got this. I don't know which one to take, man. I think profit's a better card. Huh? Dang it, Michael! Oh, that's a big butt. That's the biggest butt of them all. You're right. All right, pack one, pick one. We do all butts, and then pack two and three. We'll do, we'll we'll square things up. I like that Gristlebrand is here. However, if we took profit, oh, we wouldn't be able to take. We still take Gristlebrand. We'd still be in black. So, that's the biggest butt of them all. You ever seen a bigger butt than this? Uh, the answer is no. Probably not. Eh, we got a Thrun here. So now we're... Abzan? Alright, all the big butts and then we'll see how it works out. I like this 4, 5, 6, 8 curve here. This is nice. The problem with taking the big butts is that you get no small creatures, so... <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, Alan. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. It's hard to believe. I couldn't I didn't actually realize it was 7:30 because I looked out the window and I was like, "Oh, it's still super bright out." Daylight savings is a thing. Your mom's a thing. A thing in the ice. Hmm. That's a big butt. Now we can fill in our 7 drops. Now we got 4 5 6 7. 8. All right. All right, we really need to be reanimating these these ladies and gentlemen. These horned beings. That's insane. That's a wood Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, no. Oh, actually, Fleecebane line goes in our Abzan deck. Look at this. Everything's coming together. Two drop. That's perfect. Perfect! Perfect! 
Shielder does have a big crab monster, but I don't even know what this is going on in this art. Oh, Avacyn. Another but another solid choice. There's a scavenging use, which in theory has the biggest butt of all time because it's an infinite butt. That's true. It's an infinite butt. <laughs> that got you? Yeah, infinite butt got me. I think it's got to be Avacyn, though. She's got two butts. Look. It's true. Two butts, Michael. Oh, this guy's got a... This is a beefy boy. Also goes well with, like, a Cloud Guard Ranger. Mike, you're an infinite butt. Wow. Infinite butts. It's butts all the way down. That's like turtles. The stipulation has been amazing so far. Oh, man. We got infinite butts. We got butts all the way down. Oh, Orshkar actually is fine. This has worked out well. We have nine picks and nine creatures. Ooh, do we just take Cryptgast? Cryptgast Crypt with, with all of these three seems insane, right? Oh, we can't. Actually, we got a profit. Ah, oh, I want to veto that. I think Crypt Gas is really good for our deck. We're not going to be playing this. I got a veto. I got a veto one butt. No butts. Oh, Fetid Heath, though. I got to pass the Staffin in. Alan, I was hoping you'd chime in. That's why I was waiting. Because it's got a spook butt. <laughs> Is it Fetid Heath or is it Staff of Nin? It's got to be Fetid Heath, right? I think so. Oh, God. I like I like the other one so much better. Oh. Greyborn Muse. Reasonable butt. All right. You're just going to the sideboard. Hey. That's okay. It's not really our colors, but that's fine. Fetid Heath is what I call my butt. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. All right, we're off the butts now. We have enough butts, so now we can take other things, other non-butt things. Although I still think it might be the thing with the biggest butt, which is Hero Blade Hold. Oh, uh, actually, Torrential Gear Hulk has the biggest butt. Oh, true. Rude. Really think it's Hero here? Yeah, I really like that card. Which one's games? I like Condemn. That'll come back. Wow. Three vetoes on Stip seems pretty good, actually. I like that. I like that rule. It could also be Bloodstained Mire. Oh, Search for Tomorrow, actually. I like Search for Tomorrow. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I didn't either, actually. Because it's not, it's not like this isn't a Search for Tomorrow deck, but maybe it really is. Maelstrom Pulse? I also don't mind Fertile Ground, to be quite honest. Yeah, I like Pulse. Man, I like Pulse. I think Pulse is fine. I don't like evolving walls at all in these in these packs or in this in this cube rather. I think three total vetoes is good. That's one per pack, or you can save them for rainy days. That's a Eugene. Oh, Orzov Signet seems like gas. Yeah, it's probably. The I can't imagine not taking Orzov Signet here. Hopefully, Yugen Yugen or Banishing Light come back, right? Never. Yeah, not likely. So the problem with the Stib having a color limitation is that you're not going to have more than one or two colors, like one or two creatures per color in a pack, right? So if your color limitation is white, you're probably going to have two creatures, two white creatures a pack, if that. Oops, excuse me. And like, then they just, you're just not getting, you're, you're, it's not a stipulation at that point. You're just picking the creature in that color. I like Solmir. I think he's a little sensitive, but I think he's fine. Like Gifted Aetherborn? It's real mana intensive for this deck. Yeah. I think it's still good. You said yes? It's alright. Why do you like this? The Spirit of the Labyrinth is cool, but I don't want to be like... I'm going to take There's this guy. There's not that many abusive drawing cards in this cube. What? There's not that many abusive drawing cards in the cube. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I like... Oh, I like both of these. 
I think I like Cold Steel Heart better, though, because we're three colors. Yeah. I can also see, see taking out Vivid Grove, but I like Cold Steel Heart. Creek would lead you doing some work last game against us. Cold Steel Heart. I'm going to take the Cold Steel Heart. We got 17 picks so far. I want to go turn four Crypt Gas, turn five Gristlebrand. That's all I want. So I will take all of the Godless Shrines and Overgrown Tombs I see. You understand me? Sure. Okay. There's no way that's real, right? Nah, I'd believe it. Utterly no way that's real. Oh, I like... Ooh, Scatter Grove? Or Obnixilis? Obby Bobby. Is it Obby Bobby? Mm-hmm. Over the Fixing Land, though? I'm greedy. You are greedy. Obby Bobby, he says. Damn it, Obby Bobby. <laughs> I made myself laugh there. Ob and cut white. We could do that, actually. We got fetid heat, though. It's only one land. Frasca's Contempt seems great. Is it better than Murderer's Cut? Probably. Yeah, I think so. I like valuing Planeswalker removal over regular removal. Mm. Really? Gristlebrand? Cryptgast? Greyborn Muse? Gifted Aetherborn? Mm. Eh. If you cut white, sure. I think we're cutting white. We only have two white cards. Fleece Man, three. Frank's Hank voice just got me. Oh, damn it, Bobby. Gary. Yehenny's expertise? Hornet nest? You should write the stip command for this low. <laughs> oh, Alan. Alan should. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't know, man. What do you think? Hornet, hornet nest? I don't think it's expertise here. All right. I'll, I like Palladium Mirror. I like chocolate. Oh, God. It's painful, guys. It's real painful sometimes. Yeah, Soul Reap is fine. I like chocolate. <laughs> can't. I can't. I can't even with this friggin' guy. What's that noise? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. That's one of the pets. That's the cat messing with your Amazon box. Oh, my God. That's such a cat thing to do. Cat thing do. So this is basically just a, a sorcerer speed doom blade. Uh, that can deal them three light. Well, for for non green instead of non black, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, creaky. Old creaky. Let's go to the gray merchant, bro. And if we're just green black, oh, let's take that guy. Okay, that's removal. Man. Yeah, I rule for anything. Why are you putting sideboard? What? Is it only creatures? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're thinking of Song of the Dryads. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. My name is Michael, and I thought of a different card. Boo. Hello, kitty cat. What are you doing out there? Rubbing your face on things? We made history by oh, no. Man. I'll do that. All right. So it's either Vampire Nighthawk. Sword of Fire is good. But Vampire Nighthawk goes well with this Grey Merchant. I 
I think it's actually Nighthawk. This deck is about five good cards away from Mono Black. One, two, three. I think it's Nighthawk here. Sure. Or we could get a sword and put on like a Gifted Aetherborn, which seems real good. I like the Hawk. I took the Hawk. Ooh, that's a good, that's a reason to be in in white. Ulamog has the biggest butt. You must take it. Um. Huh. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but. What the butt? A primal command. We can search for a gray merchant. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea what the pick here is. Ulamog does have the most ceaseless butt. Solemn Simulacrum is a good pick, though. Yeah. I like Solemn. Oh, there it is. It's still pretty hard to cast. We're just going to be mono green at this, or mono black at this point, bro. We could do that. Like, I'll just cut. Is it is it that hard to cast? We already have Hex Mage, Aetherborn, Vampire Nighthawk. Crypt Ghast. I think we can just cut the green. That's that Maelstrom Pulse, though. Yeah, what are we what are we playing? Maelstrom Pulse and Rishkar and Hornet Nest. Also, price. Sure. Actually, draw a card, then exile a card from your hand. If cards with five or more different combat mana costs, you just flip it at X mana, where X is your life toll. That seems kind of mediocre. Yep. What if we cut the what if we cut the green and just went black white? Because we have Fetid Heath and Orzhov Signet already. And now we can have a cape. Oh, how about this Soren? That's a good one. Yeah, this is the six mana one. This one's great. So we can cut search, we can cut Rishkar, Hornet Nest, and Pulse. And we can play Avacyn, Cloud Goat. And then we have a fixing land and Orzhov Signet. Makes our obliterator worse though. Not really, because then we get to play Fetid Heath, which means any white mana is two black mana. I think it's good. Right. We also have Cold Steel Heart. Stop being a little Mitch is really the lesson to be. Oh, all right. Sure. Hipso Toots. That's a card. That's a black card. All right, we can probably just cut. Actually, I, could, I think we can just splash this guy. We don't need the double white cards. We can just splash Soren off Fetid Heath and, and Orzhov Signet. Godless Ooh, Shrine. That's really good. Let's take that bad boy. All right. Well, this deck looks sweet so far. Actually, we can probably cut Creekwood Leech. Maybe. We, don't need, we currently don't need any cuts, though. It still makes two twos. Yeah, you're right. It still makes two twos. And it also deals an extra three with Grey Merchant. I think with Shrine, we might be able to auto include Avacyn. Maybe. I mean, we can also probably get more fixing. Infinite butts all the way down. Mm, it's kites, in case we're white. This is also just a black land that comes into play tap that we can cycle. Let's just play. Um, let's just play Metamorph for free if we do add it. Oh, Liege does make th three threes still. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, well, if we're not playing green, Liege only makes two twos. That's not true. It still makes three threes. Mm hmm. I would probably play Gideon over Avacyn. Sure. Bum, 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 bum. On Burial Right seems good if we're splashing. You can cut the Gideon now. I'll cut you now. 
Take day. Good why, sweet. Who's double butt? Oh. T- <laughs> yeah, but this guy's got a huge butt. This guy's a six butt. Dragosi, what's going on? This deck does look pretty spicy. I'm okay with it. I'm hoping that Caves of Coilos comes back, but... Nice. <laughs> like you do. Sure. That's old wiki. We have a lot of Abzan goodness going on here. All right, this is 24 cards. I still think you just got Gideon. Yeah, I think so too. And this is great because we're splashing Flashback on Unbearer Rights and Soren off of four sources. Yeah, that seems funny. I might actually want to add just one planes for a Solemn, but I don't like that just because... Um, it's such an awkward draw. If you draw... If, if your one planes is what you draw and you have a blitter in your hand, you're just, you're just worse off. It might still be worth it, though. Maybe. One green. Nah. Wait, why is it only recommending? I don't know. That was weird. 26 cards. We need 14 lands. 12, 13. That's weird. Okay, now it's just like, yeah, one more black. All right, it's not even recommending a white, so. I think this is sweet. Let's do it. We also have Soul Reap in the sideboard, which is probably just very good, right? Probably. But we do have a lot of removal. Like, we have Vraska's Contempt, uh, Ultimate Price, Gifted Day, the Word, and Vampire Nighthawk are both kind of removal. Obnixless and Soren are kind of removal. And that they kill creatures. Oh, uh, this sound seems fine. Oh, man, I need me a burrito in my life. You need you a burrito in your life? Today's yeah. National Burrito Day. Did you know that? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Gotta hit when they start playing automatically. I think we're good. Uh, let's see if we can find some burritos day deals. Chipotle and Moe's will not be participating in national. Bur wow. Wow. <laughs> Get wrecked. Those are like the two marine burrito sources. Two marine burrito sources? <laughs> <laughs> like the underwater ones? Yeah, man. I love like a good marine burrito. Ones. All right, we do need one more land so this hand doesn't look like hot doo-doo brown. That cat's still playing with that box. I can hear it over here, and it's freaking me out. I'm like, cat, what are you doing? And he's playing with the box. No, he just keeps bashing his head into it. <laughs> well, that's what cats do. Yeah, that's weird. Well, our opponent's Delver did not flip, so... As is usual. Yeah, to the surprise of no one. What's Pancheros? There was a Pancheros in St. Pete, and I'm pretty sure they closed. Because they were definitely not better than all. <laughs> Get wrecked. Well, they did close, so something's wrong. I think I went there once. And I think everything was extra. They're like, you want a sour cream? I think that's going to be extra. Guac? That's going to be extra. Do you want this salsa? That's going to be extra. And we're like, what? Tortilla what extra. That? Like, why is everything extra? They made the tortillas to order, and that's pretty sweet. 
If we play this guy, we can play a Obnixilus next turn. We can actually just play this. And we can Distended Mindbender next turn. Oh my god, cat. He's having a good time. Can you not have a Force Spike? <laughs> Did you use the front door? Extra. I love sour cream. Yeah, I'm a sour cream boy. I'm a sour Ruth cream boy Ruth. as well. You ever put on Potato Man? Oof. I was a Potato Man once. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Can you just let my hypnotic specter resolve? You're not going to pack them negation. All right, resolve. <laughs> I watch you like daily. I'm like, not in a creepy way, I hope. that's That would be weird. Hey, man, where do you want to get a burrito at? Probably just Chipotle. But they don't have a deal, bro. Yeah, but who does? Chipotle and Moe's are like the only place to get a burrito around here. Well, I mean, unless you want to go traditional, but those places are definitely not going to have any deals. Well, right, but they are options. Although I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to your face. No, just kidding. I'm Batman5300, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Appreciate the support. That's a Batman from the year 5300. That, wow, that is a future Batman right there, man. Frank, what city do you live in? Uh, I'm near Tampa in, in Florida. I thought you lived in Saskatchewan. Then you also live in Saskatchewan. Get wrecked. Did I? You Saskatchewan. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Are they going to have to discard? Is Hypnotic Spectre going to have to blink a bia? And blink is not the word I wanted to use. I don't know why I said blink there. Oh, Shriek Maw? Shriek Meow. Meow. We're not just going to, what's he say? Where's the place he said? To Washington, Tom Harkin. You're welcome. I wish I could have left a message, but thanks for all the great content here on YouTube. You see, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. I could actually just distended Mindbender. Is that better? I don't think so. I think it's just better to get Palladium Mirror down so we can. Is that the cat still? Yep. This is unbelievable. Can you guys hear that? Stop it, cat. <laughs> Stop it. Is he just being ridiculous? Uh-oh, fatal push. Uh-oh. Hunter, go stop him. Hunter, do your job. One, two, three, four. We have six mana. Private eyes, they're watching you. Yep, definitely can hear it. God, he's just like in the background moving a box around. It's real weird. I see your every move, baby. Oh. Well then. That was just rude. We have a Vraska, so I guess we're okay, but... God, they have... Fatal Push? So you know they have Fatal Push. I guess we don't have to write it, because it's up there. It's right here. Oh, man. There's 
a lot of movement going on back there. Mm-hmm. Pets are some drama, let me tell you. Discard a swamp. All right, so we have Fatal Push and one other card. Gary! This guy can hit Planeswalkers, right? Real top card in your Sauron deals X damage to target creature Planeswalker. Ooh, he can. So whenever he doesn't have a combat deal player. So I don't think I like that. Because we want to kill the Jace, right? You play with him. You play with him. You play with him. Soren does seem good, but then he just dies to uh, to Looter, which is pretty rough. Who did they target with? Uh... Oh, they targeted us, and they put a card at the bottom. Interesting. How is it Soren one hundred percent? Soren just trades with Jace. I'd rather use Vraska's Contempt and save Soren for like a significantly better situation for us. I, I want to get rid of this, Jace. They have one card. That ain't enough, no lie. I might have forgotten about Shat. Yeah, we, if we could block this guy, we probably would have done that last turn. I'm not a smart man. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to Vraska's Contempt this. Alternatively, we can Vraska's Contempt this and just attack Jace for four. I don't think that's as good, though. I mean, then they just block with Delver, right? Like they're not gonna, we're not, we're not making them discard for sure. We could play Ob, kill the Delver. Ob goes to two. It takes one from Looter, and we give Jace one more turn. We can actually kill it with. We can't. We can actually attack with Plating Mirror. I don't like kill Delver that much. And this is the turn they're tapped out. I mean, I would rather play Soren and negative two the insect because I think that's better. Because that actually is a better use of mana. Do it then. Two if I care. Four, five, six. We play Soren, we negative two you. We can't hit Chase for four because we don't have... This guy is going to be tapped from Soren. I don't think trading with Delver is that bad, no. But I want to try to develop a board here. Because we have Raska's Contempt in hand. The problem is they're playing blue. So I really want to get rid of Jace when I can. It's actually significantly harder than I was expecting. One, two, three, four. We have six total mana to work with. It's not a lot. Could put Jace to one. No, we can't. We can put it to three total. Oh boy. Um oh boy. I think this is the better play. Well, I'm overthinking because they have a lot of good options. Like it depends on how valuable letting them jace for one more is. Like like giving them one more turn of jace. Like especially because they could hit counter spells. And then if they hit a counter spell, our, our opportunity next turn is worse. Looter is definitely not a Jace. Yeah, this is a fine trade. So 
So now they have Fatal Push in hand. And one other card. So I can deal with that. You're watching the line. Oh, you can't escape my eyes. Private eyes. It's unfortunate. I will sacrifice this guy. Land. We did good. What are the odds this guy resolves? Not high. But we know they have Fatal Push and one other card, so maybe it does. Oh, boy. We did it. That was pretty good. All right. We did it. Oh, they discarded Fatal Push, actually, so they just have three cards that we don't know about. This Sheldock Isle is a little scary. Michael, it's Grandma. Yes, Grandma. Damnation goes to the graveyard. Two cards they have. Two cards they have, yours. That was Yoda. Funny joke. <laughs> oh, new God. Just play this guy, see what happens. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. This guy 1,000% gets countered. What? It's going to be a land. We just hit a Creekwood lead, so this has got to be a land. Oh, goodness. LOL. Told you. Two two Planeswalkers at seven. I want to make a number of 1-1 Black Vampire Knights equal to my life total. Give me 12. Give me 16 1-1s. We could have killed this guy, but if you plus him... Then you get to draw a card. So, you know, that seems better to me. Our deck seems sweet. You're real quiet, man. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> Good call. I didn't. I didn't consider that. I appreciate yeah. your honesty. Funny joke. Oh, I see. Funny joke. God. Oh boy. Oh boy. As the natives of the fine state of Florida, there are really more lunatics there than anywhere else you've lived? Likely. That is likely, yes. And that is not a funny joke. It's real talk. Funny joke. Let's go immediately to your upkeep so that we can put your looter in the graveyard. Mike, what was that? Something about a cry chop? Karate chop. Oh, reveal my hand. You choose a planeswalker or a creechy. Well, the sky is the limit, my friend. These are all creechies. But we're blowing the nuts, and that ain't enough for Mike. You gotta know. Are do 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 do. Are those burrito deals? No, I wish. Dang. Last chance for a free appetizer over at Red Robin. Yum. Yeah, they got all you can eat fries. Who needs appetizers? Right, I agree with you. Actually, can I just get more fries for my appetizers? Yeah, your classic and your Netflix. Pretty good. Well, these are both six scale figures, which means they're much smaller than this, which is a premium format. So this dude's a real big. Which is not even, you don't even have previews for him yet. It's about the size of the other ones that I have. Hmm. What are we getting back here? Oh, I'll just get this Gristlebrown back. Oh my god! Oh my god, they chose the Gristlebrown with the Despise, and now we just get to put it into play. Oh, they said just for funds. Okay. Oh, 
I don't I wonder if they realized they had to have realized, right? Our deck seems great. Funny joke. I wish that wasn't as funny as it is. Funny joke. <laughs> 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 Oh, why are you the way that you are? Why do I always have private eyes stuck in my head? I don't know. Me neither. You should go to the doctor. Okay, that's fair. I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. That's good. Now I'm not looking forward to that bad boy. I have to get a root canal retreated. How does that work? I don't know, and it's actually creeping me out. The root canal itself wasn't that bad. I assume the like the it's all it's all done. I just have to get it retreated before I get a crown put on. So they're gonna make you king. Yes, yes. <laughs> a burger king. A king of burger. Your mom must be so proud. She is. Don't say that's gonna hurt. Come on. <laughs> You're working out going on vacation? Yeah, it's got like it's going to a little retreat. The little root canal retreat. Still no flip. They'll be drilling in your mouth a lot? The root canal's already done. I think you're just making stuff up now, which is not very nice. Mm -hmm. Mud can't escape my Two whiffs. I want to get all my teeth replaced with lasers. <laughs> Probably possible. I'll see what's wrong with that. Anyone know the mortality rate of root canals? You guys are amazing. Uh, I don't know if we can be friends anymore, but amazing nonetheless. Funny joke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Burr, 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 You can't escape my eyes. Oh, double Jace. Dubs Jasons. Wow, mortality rate for second root canals are 135%. That's amazing. More people die than actually have the root canal, it seems like. Interesting. Oh, no. Oh, that's actually fine. You ain't very close. I have seen a lot of the Witchwood spoilers. That looks awesome. I'm looking forward to it. It's a pretty funny joke. Funny joke. No, you're going to the face. And you're going to the Jace. Sometimes it kills the dentist. Fair. I had not considered that. Oh. Interesting. Shh, funny joke. Is that Robert? Is that Robert Castillo? I think they figured the Jace was dying anyway because we have Hex Mage, so if they block, 
then they just this guy dies and the hex mage dies or and the jace dies so you know nobody wins there oh that's no good it finally flipped well here comes damnation it's not so bad I mean, Hypnotic Spectre got a card. So, that breaks even. Solemn got two cards. Solemn got two cards. Yeah, that's fine. Can I get a Planeswalker? <laughs> I'll take that. Um. Yeah, what do we, what, what Cold Steel Heart, we named just Black? Probably. Probably in white, right? We have enough black. If they end up destroying this somehow, I'd rather just have a way to... Um, uh, say white. Pew! I mean, you can just you can go land, prey counter, land, Tetsamok, and kill it, right? That seems good. My cat keeps hearing your cat and looking around. That's pretty hilarious. Prey. You've got to pray, pray. You've got to pray just to make it today. This is a lot of lands. I'm not satisfied with the number of lands I'm drawing. Just gonna play this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight lands. If they have a land, I imagine they're gonna want to play Tetsamok immediately, right? What could this be? What's the blue black? What's a blue black morph? Will Bender. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Will Bender's in this cube. I will exile this guy though. Is that you? No, that was the hunter and the cat. Oh my god. Both moving magic. Oh, it was a ruthless ripper. That was actually a good one. Oh my god, these lands, dude. Well, so at least we get to put them to three. And if they play Tetsamok, they can't also kill this guy, so. Yeah, Ripper being in the queue is pretty funny. If we can top deck a Grey Merchant, that'd be pretty gas. gas -alicious. I think they're missing a six land, though. <coughs> Excuse me. What up, cat? Why are you being so loud right now? No one's excusing you. You're unexcused. I excuse myself. Ghost ride your whip. Sweet. Got him. Tetsamok just sat in the hand. Oh, we get to despise. Catch my swamp. Infinite butts. Got to pray. Pray. Grey Merchant off the top one time just for the sake of... Dang it. This deck would be good with a shambling vent. You've got to pray just to attack today. Got him. All right, sweet. 
I like this deck. How do you how do you feel? It's uh it's all right. It's okay. What's your what's your dinner plan, man? I don't know. Okay. You in? Am I in what? In for the dinner plans. What does that even mean? Would you like to eat some dinner? Hold on. I never eat dinner. Oh. Never mind then. I don't believe in your societal conventions. He told you burrito. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this hand is good if we hit one land. Really bad if we don't. Well, I guess we got to live that dream, right? We got two turns. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Here, this game. Oh, boy. Now this hand is great. You got two drop, three drop, three drop, seven drop, eight drop. Two drop, two drop, three drop, three drop, seven drop, eight drop. Which means if we hit all the lands, we can go turn two, this, turn three, this, turn four, this, turn five, nothing, this guy, I guess, turn six, turn seven. So, get wrecked. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, boy. Did I? Did I get wrecked? Yeah, you did. I don't think I did. Where's Elk Tears? He'd usually donate for us to get some Hungry Howies. Hungry Howies? I like that you just said Hungry Howies. That was good. Hungry Howies. Are you done? No. Let me know when you're done. I'll never be done. Well, that's unfortunate. Chart, of course. Ooh, that's aggressive. They didn't even attack. They just had to discard an island. They didn't draw anything. Uh-oh. I'm going to assume that we hit a land next turn, because that's a cool... Uh, if this is a Hungry Howie sponsored stream, we wouldn't have to actually have Elk Tears buy us Hungry Howies. So, unfortunately, no. We are not brothers, either. That's weird. We didn't do it. That cat is real loud. I'm you so right? sorry, guys. It's my acoustic son. Oh, a banishing light. What are you going to do? Him? <laughs> Come on. Grow up. Got him. Like I'm never going to hit a land again. What happened? <laughs> Where did you wow. even come from? You're not even in the stream. That's not real. What, they did have judgment? They did. That's not real. This is all fake. <laughs> That's so hilarious. My God. They have three cards and... That's it? All right. Hmm. I guess we just obliterate her here, huh? I can't see why not. I can't see why not. I just assume you don't have a counterspell, which is really bold of me, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh god, something's happening. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see. Oh my god, please kill this guy. Oh, they hit a gray merchant? That's interesting. Sure. I'm just going to hex mage this idiot. Because that seems better than contempt here. Yeah. The shadows. Thank you so much, man. Get some, get some hungry howies and feed that poor starving cat. That cat is well fed. Don't even let him trick you. I feel like we're doing well here. Who knows, though, right? Do okay. Get, do we get some hungry howies now? Now that the donations I guess have so. been, they—that's what they're for, right? Oh, another Jace. All right. Well, three cards in hand. Is the cat named Howie? Are you talking about eating a hungry cat for dinner? No, that's terrible. We would never do that. Hungry Howie only has a 2.8 review here. Dang. That's sad. I, I've been satisfied with all my Hungry Howie's experiences. Wow. Can you shoot my Phyrexian Obliterator? I'd appreciate that. No, that's not the, the other one. The other one's the one you want to shoot. They didn't understand. You didn't agree. We have a lot of things to do here. I'm actually a big fan of this deck. I feel like we can actually kill this guy. Actually, we'll just attack Sarkon first. Because I doubt you're blocking. Because that would be silly. And then we can just play Ob and draw a card. Or we can kill Jace. What? It has Trample. Oh my god, that's amazing. We get rid of your Grey Merchant, we get rid of your Sarkon, and you sack two perms? What a deal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, you've never heard of what do you get my Zaw? I, actually, I'm just a big cheese fan, to be quite honest. Big cheesy. Oh, mistakes were made, my friend. Did he just frask as a condemned Jace just to get rid of it? Meh. Obliterator is a heck of a drug. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well. What happens now, I wonder? Obliterator is probably one of my favorite creatures in Magic or in Modern. Um, Electrolyze can go by itself. If you want to take Opt Glacial Fortress, you do. All right. The old main, main, main Operino. Main, not going to work here anymore, that's for sure. Oh, Cold Steel Heart. Boring! Well, we don't have a choice here, so we'll just draw a land. That's nice. Um, do we just attack their face? No, we kill their Jace, right? We just kill both of these Jaces, right, and put them in the in the top deck world, which He's is like right. kind of like the upside down. We can also just go to their face and kill one Jace because they have to plus this Jace. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Now you have to deal with this guy. And we get to draw a card if you want to keep your Jace. Otherwise, you can put him in the garbage can. He elected to put him in the garbage can. That's fine. 
Put him in the garbage can. That was a good use of elected there. I like that. It's elected. What, you some kind of college? What, you some kind of college boy? I've been to college once. <clears throat> did you Did you die afterward? Yeah, I died. I kind of like Addison just... here. Really? They have Dave, Dave Judgment. So then in response, we just Addison make all our guys indestructible? Yeah. That seems busted, right? Keep in mind, we only had one white that game. So. I can add a... Yeah, but I can add a... I can add one planes for that. Mm. I don't know. Oh, my God. Why are you like this? Dead Mike and the College Boys. That's your that's your band name. Mm-hmm. Also, Vampire Hexmage MVP against our Infinite Planeswalker deck. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. You ready? God, mortality rate for college is 135% too? That's real bad. Hmm. Look, we already got two white sources. I wish Phyrexian Metamorph could copy Planeswalkers. That's the world I want to live in. Oof. We can still live the dream. The dream is still online. Dream online. I'm going to name Mountain. Yeah, that's what I meant. Look at all these white sources we got, bro. Are you looking? I'm looking. I want you to look with your skeleton eyes. Skeletons don't have any eyes. Everybody knows that. Prove it. I don't know if metamorphing crypt gas is what we want to be doing, but I see, I see, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. This guy. I would rather metamorph a solemn simulacrum. Are you going to counter my palladium here? Are you going to electrolyze my palladium here? Of course you are. Oh, is it charm? That's better. Just a one for one. You're a one for one. Wow, it's really rude. I only have four cards in hand. Any land would be great. I want to play this Solemn Simulacrum real bad. It's not a land. My desperation is real. Wow. You counter this? Good lord. That seems so greedy because it's like, why don't you just counter the thing I want to play with that? Like, I don't understand. Like, didn't they counter something really greedy last game too? I don't know. Okay, well, it's good. It's always always a pleasure talking to you, buddy. I imagine you take negate. Jace pals are always pretty easy. Wow, island and martial arts. Okay. Good deal. I wonder if it's actually crypt gassed here. Makes a six mana next turn. What do you think? I wasn't paying attention. Why are you here? <laughs> God. To provide entertainment. So Grip Gas makes you four, five, six mana? Yeah, eight if we draw a swamp. But if they kill it, we get no value. Whereas if they kill Solemn, we're still probably Solemn. doing stuff. But like, what's our play like next turn? 
We saw him for a land. I think it's Cryptcast, actually. Because, like, if we saw him for a land, we still have, we have five lands, and we still have nothing to do next turn other than, like, play Greyborn Muse, so. It's okay, they're just going to counter it anyway. Yeah. Or they're not. Okay, why is this cat so loud? It's, I don't know. I really can't Probably handle it. Ghosty. Don't kill my crypty. That is not a death for my crypty. This electrolyzes though. When do they don't have it? Never. Squeeze that cat and show it what's cool for cats. I have no idea what you're saying right now. I feel like they're way too far ahead right now. Yeah, just a little bit. I guess we make them win, though. We have a pretty reasonable late game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just go to the next game. Oh, we would have drawn that. That was kind of funny. Actually, they would have probably drawn it. Because they would have exiled top cards, so. Don't think there's any sideboard here. I don't think so either. I think our deck is good. I just don't. This sounds good. Turn through Greyborn Muse. Also, two whites. Okay, you gotta put that cat outside and shut the door. Okay. I can't deal with it anymore. He's he's being ridiculous right now. I think he got excited because he thought I was going to feed Yeah, him. he did. That's why he's like, all right, let's go. We're doing this. We're doing this food thing. And then you didn't. Hungry Howie, the acoustic cat, has been banished. Wow. That's not his name. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, if this oh, my God. He's still going outside the door. It's hilarious. This seems very good, actually. Plus, we have... Two five drops, and we can actually bounce this. And well, they got nothing to hit, but <laughs> Mike put the cat outside. Here, gunfire before he comes back. <laughs> That's not what I meant, Mike. I understand now. So they can't is it charm this? They can't electrolyze it. Ooh, look how cute a chromatic lantern. So I'm going to draw two cards here. Like you do. Did I just play Ob? Seems pretty broken. Look at all these white sources we're hitting, man. We've hit all four of our white sources, including Cold Steel Heart, so five white sources. Is that all? That is all. This 
This is my fight song. This is my fight song. How many cards have we drawn each turn? Three? Three cards a turn? Decent. Dece? Oh, that's a cool Rally McMally. It's a lot of lands. I'm not not thrilled about it. What's that guy's ult? Ob? Uh, whenever a player draws a card, you lose two life. They get the emblem. So if I draw a card, they lose two life. If they draw a card, they lose two life. Oh. Seems it's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Just pass here. Oh, hi, Mark. You might say it's game winning. I'm sure, a lot of white. I should have played Fetid Heath or Planes. That makes me real sad. All right, indestructible. Dragosi, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always appreciate it. I wonder what's happening right now. Is it like mind control? That would be really good. And I would blame myself for my my life choices. We always metamorph, copy, kill, but metamorph and never flip. Oh, Jace number two. Jace number one. But the second Jace of his name? I don't know. Sure. Well, that is unfortunate, but we do get a turn before you're able to cast. Oh, no, we don't because you have a chromatic lantern. That's cool. Well, it's just played, so it's actually indestructible. So. No, they're going to kill our ob. Oh, yeah. That's Which true. is pretty bad. Yep. That's really frustrating. I thought we were doing really well, too. What? Oh my god, that's so much better. We get to use ob again? And we get to bounce this with guys? Wow, that was really good. Uh, whenever you guys are going to put target creature. Uh, return to unlock tire, put this card on the battlefield, and tap to attack it. Okay. Which do we kill? Probably Jace. Yeah, uh, actually, I was going to say Ral Zarek, but. He just doesn't do much. Yeah, I could say probably Jace. Do we play land? Yeah, we play swamp. Okay. All right. So we have Dreadborn hand. Put 
probably not going to have it for long. It's only a creature, right? We put a target creature from that project's graveyard. Yeah, I wish they had creatures in the graveyard. No, at least they can't really kill any guys. Oh, right? uh, we didn't crypt gas first because we want to keep regeneration up. So, like, we go four for crypt gas. We go one, two, three, four. We actually, I don't think we one, two, one, two, three, four for crypt gas. We'd have six. We'd have one mana left over. Yeah, we wouldn't. We just that doesn't make sense. Like, we just rather have, just rather have regeneration mana up. Obnixilus on eight. Perfect time to kill it. Remember the Day of Judgment? Nope. Six mana. I can't reanimate Planeswalkers with this guy. That would be pretty good. You're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what, eight mana. So this is five. We could play Nighthawk. And then keep Avacyn up. How much do you do? So if we go one, two, we'll say he costs three because we'll play a land, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana. Can we keep Avacyn and Nighthawk up? I don't think so, because we'd no. have to... No, that'd be weird. All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could. No, we couldn't. <laughs> it's close, though. One. I guess we're just attacking this stupid idiot. Elspeth. Only five mana though. Actually, no, this is a swamp, so it's actually six mana. The problem with this is that if they. So we play this, right? Um, if they tap down Godless Shrine, we don't have enough mana. So we'd have to float in response. If we don't go to second main, we just lose the mana. Or if we go to second main, we lose the mana. So we have to play it before first main, and then they could just respond by activating Elspeth's ability? No, they couldn't, because... Yeah, I think this is fine.
They could Ral Zarek to kill Cryptcast. But we have to we can respond to that by playing Avacyn. Which means they can't Elspeth this turn. Not when your creature control dies, transform it. Sure. We also have six, so we can actually Avacyn and Extort. There's a lot of decisions here to be made. Pretty important turn. Creating some dudes. Sounds good. Why do we tap so many swamps when we're casting Ghast? Because if they tap down any one of these three, we can't cast Avacyn. Because if we tapped this instead, they can tap one of these and keep us off double white. So we need triple white. Tap target permanent. Sure. This was very good. Sure, we all... There's too many Planeswalkers. We all attack Gideon. I agree. Alright, well they have one card in hand. So that's got to account for something, right? I wish this was um, what's it called? What was I going to say? I forgot. It doesn't matter. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. That's not going to do it. Elspeth is so good. Yeah, Elspeth is real good. I should have played stuff before this. Uh, the extort. I wish it was damage, not life loss. That's definitely what I was going to say. Wow. Sure. Actually, this causes you to flip, which is pretty sweet. Transform. So what does she deal? Three damage to each other creature and each opponent? Yeah. So actually, if we played this, whenever it's dealt damage, it sources control or sacks that many permanents. Seems bad. Yeah, we're not playing Obliterator when we have Avacyn dealing at three damage. That seems bad. Unfortunately, we can't kill any of these planeswalkers. Nope, not quite. Uh, if we copy the obliterator, we're, we're sacking six permanents. That seems pretty terrible.
wasting a metamorph just to give indestructible to one crypt ghast seems pretty bad. What up, Metal Duck Knight? Long time no see, buddy. Meow. He is so loud, it's unbelievable. We still have more time on the clock by like three minutes, which is pretty good. This is game three, right? You think so? Tapping Avacyn, and you're going to kill her with Gideon? Seems like a good combo. Hmm. <sighs> I tried a way to untap you, Avison. I mean, we have so many good outs. We have Unbarrow Rights. We have Gristlebrand. Um, we have Shieldred. I mean, those guys just died at Elspeth at the moment, but we still get value out of them first. Maybe not Shieldred. I really just want to draw Gristlebrand. <laughs> or Unbarrow Rights. Unbarrow Rights getting back. Uh... Oh, boy. Four points walkers, you say. Yeah, Contempt and Hex Mage don't seem that impressive right now, and we have four Planeswalkers to deal with. I don't feel like those are outs. <laughs> also, that's really the main problem, though. Yeah, so is Gideon. And Ral Zarek is almost taking five extra turns, and this guy is a three-turn clock. But yeah. Other than that. All right, well, that is a thing. The problem is like we have Metamorph and we don't even have things worth copying. Why doesn't Ink Eyes have some kind of evasion? <laughs> Also, Ral Zarek and Gideon is a pretty sweet combo. One, two, one, two. So, one, two, one, three, four. We could play Nighthawk. All right, let's see what happens, I guess. Nicol Bolas. Probably. 
definitely not like a boss. Chase the Mind Sculptor? Why not? Join the party. Sure. <sighs> like you do. Are we dead here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Close. Oh, right. Cool. All right. Um, I would have thought that was a better game if they didn't draw everything they needed. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the game was fine. Like, too many planeswalkers. I'll keep this hand. I mean, like, we had Obnixilis on eight, and they just had to happen to hit a Dreadbore off the top three cards with the Jace Architect of Thought, and it was just like, okay. I mean, that's like the exact card you need. Otherwise, we win the game pretty handily with a Obnixilis. But... Our Fling Cloudscape. Your favorite and mine. Joke's on you. I'm not going to have any permanents in play when you play this guy. Got him. I did got him. I got him so good. He no gonna want to get got again. Yeah. That's right. Can't even play Metamorph. Can't even copy your chromatic thing. I don't think there was really back and forth, though, is the thing. Like, I, I think they were playing things that advanced their board position, and we were trying to survive. And I don't think it was very much back and forth at all. I think us surviving was, being, was getting confused as back and forth. But... Hmm... curb cast it doesn't really matter because we just like they're just going to bounce it so I'm going to play mirror here they bounce the mirror it's whatever the alternative is they bounce the swamp so and there's my rift wing cloud skate You got it. What? Oh, you're just going to kill this guy, I bet. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. We're all very proud of you. Wonderful. So now we can play Crypt Gas, and that's actually probably better. Don't have Essence Scatter. They didn't have it. I feel like this guy has a reasonable chance of surviving against the blue-white deck, but... We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, sometimes they top deck, sometimes you top deck. 100%. I will not block. We have 8 mana on board now. 10 mana on board now if we, if this guy survives. Oh, well. <sighs> 
Silent Departure, huh? I know that was in here. Yeah, because it's pretty terrible, that's why. Yeah, it's real good right now. Oh, Karanos. Everybody's having a good time. So I can metamorph this guy for three. I really just want Nebraska's contempt this. They have one card in hand. Fortunately, we cannot Nebraska's contempt that yet. Oh, God, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, we can't even metamorph it, can we? Nope. Oh, that's pretty bad. It's bad all over. Wow. Shockingly terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if they hit any non land card, they get to kill either Cryptcast. Yeah. Really, there's... pretty much our whole board, yeah. Sure, I'm going to be able to do that. No. All right, hope you hit a land. Of course he didn't hit a land. We can't contempt the Karanos because it's not a creature. So then they just play a Johnny Fenchin and kill Gripcast. This is amazing. Uh, we could hold up Vraska's Contempt, but then if they don't animate it, we'd get to do nothing. So that's that seems worse. I mean, like I'm, I don't want, I'm not a big fan of just not doing anything on my turns in hopes that they don't do a thing. Sure. Damov, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Go to four. Come yeah, Karanos is a creature. Thank goodness. <clears throat> and we can do one thing. Go to six. Take four, go to two. If they have search for this and they have this guy on board and we have no way to deal with this guy. And I'm just... I went from having a really good time in game one uh, to having a really good time halfway through match second, second match two. Just really not feeling it anymore. Our deck seems good. I don't like... Just kind of temple the crap out of us. I don't really see super sideboard options here. Uh, we'll play first. <sighs> that sounds good. Um, Damov, unfortunately, you are not number 200. You are number 204, which is awesome. Thank you so much, dude. One, two, and a signet into mirror. I don't think we need you. I'd rather just have regular lands. Karanos is a creature now, at least. I'm still reading that. I'm like, yeah, well, I mean, you know, now it can deal us... Six or whatever. Six, right. Stomping ground. That's <clears throat> intriguing. Nope, not that one. That one. We can just play Creekwood Liege next turn. I think I'd rather just play Palladium Mirror and hope they don't kill it so we can soar him. I don't know. I don't know. Can they kill it? I was a creature once. Can you contempt me, Greg? Probably. Let's see, lightning bolt, burst lightning. Is it charm? Electrolyze. Am I going to GPK Vegas? I'm not sure yet. Let's 
Let this guy survive. Play something dumb. Crack this for a planes. Play a reflector mage. If I went to a modern open, what would I play? I'd probably play turns. Some some variation of turns. Alright, that's fine. As long as you don't kill this guy. And as long as you don't have negate. Unbelievable. <laughs> Couldn't have hit one land so I could actually resolve that. Hadouken, I didn't know you were Kyle Hood. Good to know, buddy. Who will you hang out with at the airport? This is a valid question. I'm asking the hard questions. Condescend for one on a six mana Soren. Seems good. Good, good times. Having a good time. Can you just use the mana in my pool to cast this? Well, black-white seems to be the most miserable color combination in this cube. So, got that going for you. Hooray! Yay! Cool. All right, so every one of my creatures that uh, is tiny is basically worthless. We are not crushing. We are actually getting crushed. I guess we hope we resolve a shield or it survives. I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Well, we get to untap at least. Oh, never resolving. They have three cards in hand. Never resolving, never staying alive. Yep. Sure. All right. On that note, why am I still playing this game? I don't know. Uh, the thing is, if you draw any threat, especially a second threat, you probably win. Probably no, because we have Silent Departure in the graveyard, so they just bounce whatever we play. And they're drawing two cards a turn, so not really likely that that happens. But I guess if we draw one land here, we can play a Gristlebrand, maybe. Oh, now they're just going to keep, they're going to just kill our Palladium here, so never mind.
Oh, they just keep it tapped instead. That seems good. That also works. That's cute. Counter spell number three. Oh my god. Sure. So this is the turn they draw a spell. They kill our Creekwood Liege. They keep our Palladium Mirror tapped, and they don't give a shit about our Hypnotic Spectre. That's my guess. And it's an Archangel Abyssin. Interesting choice. Also an interesting choice. Couldn't have been a land. So we're basically dead. They just go Avacyn. Yeah. All right. Cool. So we tried to play it out, keep the uh, keep the faith alive, and then we just actually got crushed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, wasn't the funnest draft. Um, was a stipulation though, and uh, I think we tried to honor the stipulation as best we could without having it well defined, and. Uh, our opponents just had too many planeswalkers, it seemed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, this didn't uh, go too poorly. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you next time. Bye.